Um, so make sure you sign up for that before it's too late. And otherwise, we'll move on to our community moment. If you are new to Kansas City Oasis, we do a community moment every week, and it's an opportunity for us to hear from one of you. Um, we want to have lots of voices um, to hear from and learn from, and this is one way that we do that. If you are interested in doing a 10 minute or less community moment, just tell me or message me. It needs to be in print somehow so that I will actually remember to follow up with you. Um, but just know I'm the person to contact for that. That's in the yellow program as well. And this week, we have a veteran community moment speaker, Ev Green. A little bit about her, hobbies, traveling, arts and crafts, and discovering new things. I asked for three words to describe her, and she said, so, so French. <laughs> You'll know I. And her warning label, if she were to have one, would be, Tina is my spirit animal. Please welcome Ev Green. Hi, today I'm going to tell you a story, and it's a story behind my answer to the question, what is your favorite book? And my answer is Harry Potter, and yes, yeah, and yes, I know it's a series of books, but I don't care. Um, I could spend the next 10 minutes uh, waxing lyrical about it, and and talk about all the ways it's fantastic, but um, actually it has more to do with the impact it had on my life. I, I was always a reader from a very young age. I always had a book in my hand and it was my passion and it was also my crutch because why should I care if I was awkward when I had such a rich internal life with adventures and knowledge and beautiful, beautiful worlds and um, yeah, when I was an adolescent, I would just grab any books that stayed still long enough for me to grab it and read it, except for romance, because one, you, <laughs> and two, love is but a social construct that we make up to hide or, yeah, teenage me had ideas. And then I graduated high school and I went to Paris to become a graphic designer. And that's where I heard about Harry Potter the first time. It was love at first read. I went through the first three books and I thought it was just amazing. But something terrible happened. The fourth book was out, but only in English. And it would take at least a year for it to be translated in French. And I could not have that. So I made what was possibly one of the most important purchases of my life. I bought an English to French dictionary and I read the fourth book in English. At first, I needed to use the dictionary two times per sentences. By the end of the book, I needed it once per page. And then I read the first three books in the same way. And because the fifth book was taking forever to come out, I went to the internet and discovered the um, scary but fascinating world of fan fiction <laughs> where 90% of the stories are in English. So you see where I'm going with this. Um, the reason why it became such an obsession was unfortunately because I was having, I was having a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad couple of years. And I immersed myself in the magical world because when I wasn't, I was just considering ways to end my life. Um, it's not that I wanted to die, really. It's just that I was, well, I was so depressed. I was so tired. I just wanted things to end. But I am also a creature of reason. And I love my list. So I made a list with all the the beautiful things in life, the, the, thing, the reasons to live. And at first it was a pretty long list, but as the sickness got worse, it got shorter and shorter and shorter until there was only one entry in there, and it was my family. The thing about living for other people is that after a while, you start resenting them because you're in so much pain all the time. 
and everything is so hard and they don't realize the effort that it takes and they don't know how how hard how excruciating every day every hour every breath is and if they knew if they knew they would let you go right here want my last item on my list I, I guess I wasn't ready to go yet because I started in another list and it wasn't the beautiful things in life it was a reason to hold on just a little bit longer things that I really wanted to do for me not for other people for me and I realized that what I really wanted to do was to read the fifth Harry Potter book <laughs> So I held on. It didn't cure the depression, it didn't even stop the dark thoughts, but I took the subway every day and not once did I step on the tracks. And I sticked help, I tried different things, but it only got worse and I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep anymore, I started losing time. I left my job and I dropped out of college one week before the final exams. And because the book was coming so close, but it still wasn't there, I went through the horrible conversation with my parents about my failures. And for the first time, they realized, they realized how bad things were. And they took me home. Apparently, for the first months, I slept 20 hours a day. Apparently, during my waking hours, I had to be guided <laughs> into things. Apparently, I, we, we had a lot of conversations about the past, the future, and everything. <clears throat> I say apparently because I don't remember much of that summer at all. Of those three months, I have just snippets of memories, little things. I remember packing some of my belongings. I remember a fire pit, having tea with my grandmother. And I remember reading the fifth Harry Potter book. <laughs> Apparently I was all there though, even though I don't remember, because one day I apparently decided to sign myself up at the local college um, because I knew that I needed structure, but I knew that I was in no shape to have a job. And I chose what I thought would be an easy major, English. And I went for it. French college is really cheap. And for that reason, on the first day in the English department, 500 people showed up. And they had to divide us in some way. And they divided us by level. And because of all the reading I had been doing, I ended up in the, yeah, the higher level, the best class. And guess what? The people there. They were all readers. I had met my people. <laughs> Some of them were even Harry Potter fans. And a couple of years down the line, we would go to Paris and get the six books together. And I'm still very good friends with some of them. And before I knew it, I graduated and I had a diploma in English language, literature, and history. And I had no idea what to do with it because I hadn't thought that far. And the only thing you can do with that kind of degree is be a teacher. And I don't know if I wanted to be a teacher. And moreover, my accent was horrible because that's what happens when you teach yourself from books. But there was a solution that came up for both those things. There were exchange programs. I could go for one year abroad and be a teacher's assistant. So I did that. Kansas City, here I come. <laughs> During that year, I learned two very important lessons. The first one, teaching is not for me. And the second one is, love is not a social construct. I met a guy. I, when my visa expired, I invited him over for the summer to meet my family, see the sights. But I had to warn him that a very important event was coming up and I needed to attend. The last Harry Potter book was coming out. <laughs> and I had to be there at midnight in London and in costume. <laughs> uh, 
And not only didn't he laugh at me, but he came along. So I thought, hey, he's a keeper. <laughs> so I kept him. <laughs> and he's the reason why I live here today. So to conclude, I have read a lot of books and some of them were better written. And some of them has, had has compelling stories and, and worlds and everything, but really, what is my favorite book? There's only one way I can answer. Harry Potter, always. Thank you. <laughs>